said he's going to put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, right? If you look at this, who was putting yokes of iron on people's necks? What, the whites, right? On the blacks and the Hispanics. So when they came over here with the Native American Indians and the Mexicans, they did the same thing to them. We get depictions of the so-called blacks and slavery with the shackles, but it happened to those Mexicans too. Because we are the same people. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. And God said these curses was going to happen to the 12 tribes of Israel. And so if you look at all the things that happened to us, it's happened to you. And these signs are for the Israelites, but it seems they always be happening to who? The blacks and the Hispanics, right? Not everybody, just us, right? Right, so watch this. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, 68. How did so-called black people get to America? By boats, right? How did the so-called Hispanics, so-called Hispanics, get to Spain and Europe? By boats, right? In slavery, right? Now let's see if that's written in the Bible. Because remember, these are signs of, that's going to happen to the Israelites, right? Watch this, read. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It's what God said was going to happen to the Israelites. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said the Lord's going to bring you to Egypt again. Remember, I told you, this was when Moses was bringing us out of Egypt, right? So he said, if you break these commandments, I'm going to put you in Egypt again. What were the Israelites doing in Egypt? You remember Moses was saying, let my people go? Why did he have to say, let my people go? Because they were doing what? Yes, but what was their status in Egypt? They were what? Watch this. I'm going to show you, according to the Bible, what they were doing in Egypt, what Egypt means according to the Bible. Watch this. Deuteronomy 5 and 6. I'm the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. He said, I brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt, God called Egypt the house of bondage. What does bondage mean? Prison or slavery, right? If somebody has you in bondage, that means they have you in slavery, right? So God called Egypt the house of slavery, right? So now let's go back to Deuteronomy and see what God meant when he said what he said. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt or slavery again with ships. Whoa, he said he's going to bring the Israelites to slavery again with ships. How did the blacks get over here? By boat or ships, right? Slave ships, right? And then how do we say the Mexicans got, the Hispanics got to Spain? By boats, right? By ships, right? But Moses is telling the Israelites that what's going to happen? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt slavery again with ships on slave ships. So God told the Israelites they were going into slavery on slave ships if they break these commandments. Read. By the way, well, I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And the way he's telling you you're gonna get the kingdom, you're gonna get to the promised land, you're not gonna see it no more again. Once you get once you go into these get on these ships and go into captivity, you're not ever gonna go back to your homeland. Have we ever been back to West Africa? Have we ever been back to Jerusalem? We didn't even know Jerusalem was our land. We never been back there as a people, right? Read. And thou shalt see it no more again. And then once you get off those ships, once those ships docked, right? We was over here, and wherever the ships dock, he said, there, you shall be sold unto your enemies. You're going to be sold unto your enemies. Who do we say the enemy was earlier in the, in the chapter? The whites. Who do we get sold to in slavery? The whites, right? But remember, this is the Israelites, right? They're going to be sold to their enemies. For bond men and bond women. For slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. And no man's going to be able to save you. Once you get out of them slave ships. To buy means to save or redeem. So since we got over here and got off those ships, have we been saved out of these cursed conditions that we're in? We have Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, Cesar Chavez, David Sanchez. All these people rose up to try to save us, but did it work? Why? Because God said, and no man is going to save you. So now... We're going through all these curses to show the signs of the Israelites. And if he showed us these as signs to know who the Israelites are, right? And we went through it. You saw all these signs seem to fit one group of people, right? So if Moses said these things were going to happen to the Israelites, and we're the only people that fit these signs, now if I ask you, what's your nationality, Junior? What would you say it is? Uh, you still say your nationality is According to the Bible, what would you say your nationality is?
A Mexican? Did the did the was Moses talking to Mexicans? He was talking to who? Watch this. Let me show you who he was talking to. Give me the one and one. We gotta show you who Moses was talking to, cause we was going through. He was with me. Then we get to the end, and you kind of got shaky on me. You was with me. I thought we was. I thought we was. We was on there together, right? So remember, all the curses was happening to who? It's one group of people, and that's gonna show the sign of who Israel is. Let's see who Moses was talking to. Watch this. Let's see if he was talking to Mexicans or Hispanics or blacks or what. Read. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who was Moses talking to? All uh, Israel, right? So when he went to those curses and said, you're going to go through these curses if you break the commandments, he was talking to who? All uh, Israel, right? And now we figured out that these curses that he wrote about fits us. So who would that make us? We are the Israelites. That's who Moses was talking to. Moses was talking to the Israelites and said, all these things are going to happen to you for breaking the commandments. And it happened to us. We're the only people that it happened to in the whole world. So he was letting us know, even though you're not called Israel no more. Oh, give me that real quick. 2837. It's another curse. Calling ourselves Hispanics and Mexicans and black. This is another thing that Moses said was going to happen for breaking God's commandments. Watch this. Deuteronomy 2837. And now shall become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword. The word byword means a name outside of your God-given name. A name outside of Issachar, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Manasseh, Simeon. A name outside of that. So on that side, if you look at what God called us, Hispanic is not there. Mexican is not there. African American is not there. Black is not there, right? Mexican is not in the Bible. He's talking to the Israelites, and he said, you're going to be called a byword for breaking my commandments. Now you're going to call yourself Hispanic. Right. Now you're going to call yourself Mexican because you didn't keep the commandments of God. But if we kept the commandments of God, then you would know you were from the tribe of Issachar. You're an Israelite. That's, right. That's what you got to realize, Junior. That's what we're out here showing you. With the Bible, Moses was telling the Israelites, this is going to happen to you for breaking the commandments, and it happened to us. We the same people that Moses was talking to way back then. That's how we know because he said this is what's going to happen to you and it happened to us. So you're not a Hispanic. That's what you got to get out of your mind. That's what you've been taught you were Hispanic. You were taught you were Mexican. But God said you're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. That's the greatest thing to be called in the whole earth. Why? Deuteronomy 76. Let me show you why it's a beautiful thing to be called an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. And not a Mexican. And not a Hispanic. Watch. Read. Deuteronomy 76. For thou art the only people unto the Lord thy God. God said the Israelites are a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He said he chose you to be special to himself. He didn't choose a Hispanic or a Mexican. He chose the Israelites to be special unto himself. Above. All people that are upon the face of the earth. And he tells us to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's why we got to get back to calling ourselves Israelites and not Mexicans and not Hispanics. Because Mexican and Hispanic don't hold no value. That means property of Spain. That means you're still, the, your mind is still owned by the Spaniards, which are the same enemies that God told us in the Bible. That's the same people that got a stronghold on our mind. Mexican means mixed people. They tell you you are mixed people. But they never told you you were a son of God. That's the beautiful thing, that you were chosen by God, that God chose you to be above all nations. That's the knowledge that we got to get back to. Because that's what they destroyed us from. Give me uh, Hosea 4 and 6. Earlier they said they are going to uh, put the shackles on you till you've been destroyed. How did they destroy us? Why are we destroyed? We're still here, but our minds said they destroyed. Why? Watch, I'm going to let the Bible show you. Watch this. We could, a lot of people quote the beginning of this, but they don't get the body of what it really means. Watch this. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are... My people. That's a specific people. The same people that Moses was talking to. God said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We got college education and all that, but what knowledge are we missing? Read. Because as we reject the knowledge... I will also reject thee. And we reject this knowledge. We don't reject the education that they give us, but we rejected the knowledge that God gave us. Read. That thou shalt be no priest. That shalt, thou shalt be no priest to me. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. We forgot what? 
seeing that how thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. So the, the, the knowledge that we are destroyed for the lack of is the laws of God. Because we forgot to keep the commandments of God. Because we refuse to keep the commandments of God. That's why we are destroyed as a people. That's why we put the shackles on our neck until we, can, we can, uh, gave in to them, to their religions, to being a Catholic, to being a Baptist, to being a Pentecostal. They kept it on our neck until we said, okay, we'll do that. We'll, we won't do what God said. That's when they took the shackles out because we were destroyed in our mind. We didn't know no more that we were Issachar, that we were Judah. We didn't know that no more. That's the knowledge we were destroyed for, right? And read. I will also forgive thy children. And that's why we have been forgotten. We are the children of the people he was talking to right here. So since they rejected the laws and we continue to reject the laws, the most high God has forgot us. That's why we live in the ghettos. That's why we live in poverty. That's why those curses came upon us because we refused to do what God told us to do. We wanted to be Hispanics. We wanted to be Mexicans. We refused to keep the commandments and be the children of Israel. Because the children of Israel have a job to keep the commandments of God. And that's what our job is, to keep the commandments of God so we can be above all people and show God that we're appreciative of him choosing us to be above everybody else. Right. We got to want to be above everybody else by doing what God says, right? Do you have kids, Junior? You got two, right? Give me Amos 3 and 1. So you got two kids, right? So when you give your children, when they were growing up and you gave them instruction and you said, hey, if you don't take out the trash, I'm going to whip your butt. If they didn't take out the trash, what do you do? You whip their butt, right? You punish them, right? So God said, if you don't keep these commandments, I'm going to put these curses on you. And we broke the commandments, so what did he do? He put the curses on us. He did the same thing you would do as a father. The Most High God is our father. He's our, that's why he said, my people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the people of God. And we didn't listen. So God did what he said he was going to do. The same way you told your son, if you go to school and show out, you're going to get punished. God said, if you don't keep my commandments, you're going to be punished. Who do you think a better dad? You or God? So God stood on his word and he made sure that we in these conditions for not doing what he said. We got to do what he says, right? Watch this. I'm going to show you with the Bible. Watch this. Amos. Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word. The Lord has spoken against you. O oh, children of Israel. And look who God spoke against. He said, his, his word, God spoke against you, O oh, children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I got something against you. Read. O oh, children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. He said, You only have I known. Out of all the people that he brought us out of Egypt, he said, Out of all of them, you only have I known, right? So you got two kids. So you got you go to the school and all the kids at the school is acting up, right? Is you gonna start whooping everybody at the school? Nope, you gonna find them too and say, You are only my sons, you are only my children. What? Therefore, I will punish you. And you're gonna punish them out of that whole crowd of people acting up. You're going to get your kids and you're going to make sure you punish them, right? That's the same thing God do. All the nations on the earth do whatever they want to. But he's like, I gave you instructions. You don't get to do what they're doing. Huh? I'm your God. So I'm punishing you because you didn't do what I told you to do. Right. God is the greatest father on earth. That's where we get our example from. Watch, read. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. He punished us for all our sins. For breaking his laws, the Most High God is punishing us. And that's why those curses came upon us. And that's why we're at the bottom of society today. Read. Can, can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? If, you, if your son was disrespecting you, blatantly disrespecting you in your house, and all that, could he stay in your house? He got to go, right? Just the two walk together. He got to agree with what you're saying, or he got to go. Same thing God told us. He said, if you're not going to go with what I, what I gave you, if you ain't going to follow the laws that I gave you, you got to go. You got to go. And when God kicked us out, this is where we went. We went into slavery. We went into all the other nations as slaves because God kicked us out of his house, Jerusalem, because we didn't want to keep his laws. Now, while we're here, we got to start keeping these laws again so we can go back home and get back under the care of God. You know what I'm saying? We got to walk in agreement with God so we can go back home. We can't be Hispanics. We can't be Mexicans. That ain't, that ain't God's children. God's children are the Israelites, the, the Issacharites, the Judites. That's who God said, those are my children. That's who I'm waiting for you to wake up and realize who you are.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.